Hey guys, uh, we're going to be doing our video review on the game Fallout New Vegas. Uh, if you saw my Fallout 3 video, you know that that's all I do with my life. <laughs> so obviously when they came out with Fallout New Vegas, I was so hyped up, bought the collector's edition, I was so ready to play it. And honestly, it was a disappointment. <laughs> um, it's confusing. It's really confusing. You do a mission and you get halfway through it and you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> and uh, you get lost in buildings and the world, it's just set up awkwardly. And there's like bloat flies or whatever they're called. They yeah. just kill you out of nowhere. Like they Fallout 3. They let you go somewhere. Fallout 3 was like simple and then they took, the, they took the theme and moved it to New Vegas and they added stuff, but it wasn't good stuff. Like if you get attacked by a boat fly or like a rad scorpion, Instead of them just doing damage, they poison you. And if you don't have any venom, you're just gonna die. <laughs> so I thought that was really stupid. It's very unfortunate. It is. Um, it's just really poorly done, I think. The story sucks, the quests aren't good, and I don't like how the map's set up. Uh, some good points. Aim down sight. It is a lot better to aim down the sights. In Fallout 3, you cannot. You just zoom in. In this, you aimed on the sights, and it looks very good. Bats is still in it too. Bats is is good, and I think it's improved in Fallout 3 because I had some issues in Fallout 3 with bats freezing, and I think they worked it out. In the funniest thing we've done is put a whole bunch of like mines down and like shot them and blew people like 9,000 feet in the air. It's quite fun. <laughs> uh, I've only played this on PC. I do not have it on PS3, and I believe you play it on Xbox. Yeah. My brother played it on PlayStation 3. So, uh, they, they all seem to run pretty smooth. I don't have a problem with it on PC at all. It froze a lot on Xbox, actually. Yeah. I don't know about uh, PS3, but I guess it freezes on Xbox. Uh, it seems to run pretty smooth on PC. Uh, the graphics are definitely improved a little bit. Uh, it's not a big change, but it seemed, it's about what you would expect from a newer game. It looks pretty nice, and I hate to compare it to Fallout 3 too much, so uh, gameplay and graphics compared to other games, it's I'd, I'd give it a decent like 6 or 7 out of 10 as far as that goes, but as far as the story and just how the world's set up, I, I don't like it whatsoever. Um, I didn't like it enough to get the new DLC, so I don't know, I couldn't tell you anything about those. Bought them, never played them, I waste money. It, it's just a waste of money. Um, some more good things. I mean, there there's a few like good characters and stuff like that, and it's kind of cool how you can do different stuff from Fallout 3. Um, it's just the story ruins it. Uh, I hate to take away from it because they spent a lot of time on it, but the graphics and stuff like that just don't make up for how bad the story is, really. Some cool new guns. Yeah, like the guns are pretty cool. Um, they have a new thing. Um, <clears throat> Instead of just rating damage on guns, they do like damage per second, and that's pretty cool. And also, um, when different you, types of ammo. Yeah, there's different types of ammo. You get like hollow points or explosive, uh, explosive and stuff like that. Uh, also, in Fallout 3, when you did anything that gave you health, it just instantly gave it to you. In this game, let's say you eat some food, it gives you a certain amount of health over a few seconds. So it actually builds up. Uh, one, I think that makes the game a little bit harder because, like, if you're fighting somebody and your health is low, you can't just go into your pit boy and give yourself a bunch of health and fine again. And you actually have to wait for it in real time for you to build your health some back stim up. Packs. Stim packs, obviously, pretty much work the same as in Fallout 3. Um, it is a fun game. You could de it's not repetitive really, and you could definitely have a lot of fun just killing people and stuff. But as far as the quests go, I I kills the game. Um, it blows. It does. Uh, I'm a diehard Fallout 3 fan, so if I'm saying this game isn't that good, then it's not that good. Um, if you can, if you're just bored and you pick it up used, or like someone gives it to you, or a friend gives it to you, or something, it's fun to play for like maybe an hour at a time spread out, but like as far as getting in the story, you know. Uh, that's pretty much it. Anything else? Nope.